Hey, Shalom. Shalom to all you brothers and sisters out there. Um, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to our Father, Yahweh. In name is all the begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. In name of the Holy Spirit, the Ruach Kaifu, Dash, Double Honor to our teachers, the head of the pastor and elders of GMS. And uh, Shalom to you brothers out there on the highways and byways, magnifying the name of the Lord through the ministry. Shalom, Shalom. And um, so going to be a uh, Lord willing, quick walk and talk. Um, and I was watching this show that uh, I had heard a brother. I was watching a brother video the other day, and I was just um, heard him speaking about this this uh, show called Black Summer. And I, if any any one of you brothers have not seen this show, I recommend it. It's very uh, uh, relevant to the times we're about to go into, and it's very. Is very very spot on and accurate, but uh, you know it's kind of like it got a hint of Jacob's trouble, but um, but it kind of got like a zombie twist to it. But uh, nevertheless, you know all hell was breaking loose in the city. You know uh, starvation, supplies running out, and you know people's trying to uh, get safety and protection. You know so forth and so on. You know the Lord prophesied, prophesied about these times. You know. Um, a time like never before seen that's coming by just about to come on this earth, man. It's uh Daniel 12 and 1, uh, Matthew 24 and uh 24, uh, uh Jeremiah 30 and 7, right? All these things were to, uh, foretold uh before time, thousand years ago, to take place in these latter days. And you know, only people that's going to be protected from these times is the, the elect, right? The elect man, first and foremost, right? The elect man of Yahweh Bashim al that have been putting the work in, you know, because the Lord said he's not unrighteous to forget our work and labor of love. You feel me? So the Lord is going to preserve us, man, if we keep our hand to the plow, you know, we keep serving him. But the point I really want to make on this is uh, uh, centered around Micah 5 and 7. And I want to read it real quick. So it says... Yeah, this is it's the show right here. But anyways, let's get Micah five and seven. Yep. So it says, "Slack you." So I'm gonna read it in the King James. I'm gonna start at verse. Um, Five. So it says, it says, and this man shall be the peace. What man? The Israelite man of the Lord. So it says, when the Assyrian shall come into our land. You see that? What's, you know, mind the Assyrian is, you know, these Babylonians, man. You know, and um, it's going to be so crazy how the enemy's going to come in like a flood. You know, according to Revelation 12 and 12. And they're going to come into our communities, come into the cities, man. And just start taking over shit with these UN troops, these foreign troops, along with the National Guard. All right. So it says, and when he shall tread in our places, then shall we rise against him seven shepherds and eight principal men. And the Lord, you know, the Lord going to lift up a standard against him. And some is like, man, going to put some niggas to flight, man. Right. So it says. Verse six, and they shall waste the land of Assyria with the sword and the land of Nimrod. And the interest thereof, who was the land, you know, uh, applying this to today's time, you know, Nimrod was uh, in the ancient uh, Babylon. He was he was the king of Babylon. Right. So we in modern day Babylon, Babylon, the great, right. The city of confusion. So it says in the land of Nimrod and the interest thereof, thus shall he deliver us from the Assyrian. The Lord going to deliver us from the Assyrian, man. You know, he going to deliver us from Esau. So when he cometh into our land. And when he treadeth within our borders, verse seven, and the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people as the dew from from the Lord, as the showers upon the grass that tarrieth not for man, nor waited for the sons of men. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles, in the midst of many people as a lion among the beasts of the forest. So you know, if you look at um. Lying in, in the, in the um, grasslands and the jungle and whatnot, you know, every 
uh, beasts of the field, they're afraid of the lion and they run when the lion comes. And that's how a man of the Lord is going to be. A man of the Lord is going to, uh, you know, have spiritual power. you be able to control the elements, right? Manipulate uh, and work miracles, okay? He's going to be able to, uh, to do off the wall things, man, that the average person, you know, only will see in movies. Okay, so the most high gonna give that man the power to do so, right? Scripture say that thou shall be in league, uh, I think that Job, the fifth chapter, thou shall be in league with the stones of the field and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. You know, and man, <laughs> bullets, you know, like I say, uh, like favorite, you know, hear this a lot of time in Christianity, no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. But a lot of people don't understand that, you know, a lot of Christians, but that's, that applies to it, you know, men having spiritual power. None, you know, bullets gonna be bouncing off brothers, man. You know, they could be able to jump 50 feet in the damn air, you know, be strong as hell. It's gonna be nothing that they couldn't do, you know? And women gonna see that and flock to it. That's why, uh, that's where um, that Isaiah 13 and 12, uh, how the most I gonna make a man more precious than fine gold. Even a man that a golden wedge of Ophir, right? And that's, that's an elect Israelite man. And also uh, Isaiah 32 and 2, you know, how a man is going to be as in hiding place from the wind, a cover up from the tempest, right? And uh, continuing on here, so it says, uh, And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion among the beasts of the forest, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep. Who, if he go through, both treadeth down and teareth in pieces and none can deliver. You know, and going back to that show, you know, just, just imagining that and how certain brothers going to be, you know, putting people to flight, man. You know, the Lord is going to give us back power and he's going to deliver us, man. You know, he's going to preserve certain men and give them something to protect themselves in these days to come. Okay. So, uh. Verse 9, it says, Thine hand shall be lifted up upon thine adversaries, and all thine enemies shall be cut off. You see that? <laughs> and I'm going to jump down to the last verse, verse 15. And I will execute vengeance and anger and, um, and anger and fury upon the heathen, such as they have not heard. You see that? So, yeah, man, the Lord is about to really step in on our behalf, you know, <laughs> and help us, you know, Help us to, to be strong in these days, man. He's going to teach us to fight, man. Brothers, man, you know, Jake may not may not have hands. You know, they might not have any type of power right now. But, you know, we just got to be patient, brothers, you know. Lord willing, we be all those men to be able to receive that. Man, the Lord is going to teach us how to fight. It's going to be like we've been training all our lives, you know. Because, you know, Psalms 144 says what? You know, uh. Uh, blessed be the Lord with teaches my hands to warm my fingers to fight. You know, so the most high is a man of war according to uh I think this is Exodus fifteen and three. Right? So and if you look up that word uh Holy Spirit, you know, the most high said uh I mean the blue letter says imparting warlike energy. Okay? So that's what the Lord is gonna use to to give us power is his Holy Spirit. Alright? That's warlike energy. And you're going to be warriors, man. <laughs> like I said again, you're going to put, uh, Scripture say, how shall one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight? You think that shit was just back then? No, that shit coming back, man. You know, and it's going to come in a time of Jacob's trouble so, so the most I can protect his men. All right? And um, that's pretty much it. I just, you know, that was just on my mind watching this, um, watching this uh, show, this movie. Not movie, but uh, yeah, this TV show, and um, it was very interesting, man. I was just on the couple of the second, I want to say the second episode, and it was it was good, and it was just, you know, just it just gives us hope, man. Just like a, a uh, it was just like a um, what's the word I'm looking for? A uh, uh, eye opener, you know, you no. Know, for, for the times we about to go into, just kind of like a sneak peek, you know, the, the shit that you know, all these different movies that 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 uh, have these different types of 
uh, uh, scenarios of all hell breaking loose in it, these things are going to come to pass in real life because it's prophesied, the Lord said it. All right. So, uh, yeah, brothers, keep keep uh, going in this faith. Keep uh, fighting in this truth, man. You know, keep going, man. Keep your hands to the plow because the Lord going to help us, man. Right. <laughs> so with that, Lord willing, this was edifying. Until next time, shall I want.